There's a lot of factors when looking into business communications. Uh, whether you're a single site, a multi-site, um, if you're a company that is staying in the same size or there's growth in the future. Our approach when we are looking at a new system for our customers is really understanding the customer's needs. Do they have a lot of remote workers? Do they have the need for soft applications or traditional hard phones? One of the primary goals in choosing the correct communication system is really making sure you have something that has an open architecture. Allowing them to tie in the different tools that may be already utilizing and really bringing them all together. We see a lot with Microsoft Teams. We also see um, a number of users using Slack, maybe different types of uh, paid services, or maybe it's using your core application. Another factor that comes into play that a lot of people don't think about is conferencing. It can become very important in certain types of businesses. If you're doing a lot of either audio or video conferences, you really have to look to see if your system supports a large number of concurrent users to join those types of conferences.